Well, David is so inventive, he's so creative. You just get there and I'll, I'll tell you yes or no. A brilliant mind for diagnosing what somebody needs to do to play better. It's good, okay, let's do it again. He's in my mind and I think in a lot of people's minds the best to coach in the game. It doesn't have to be perfect online, but as you see, it's still a little bit late, what we call laid off, right? One of the great teaching careers in golf history actually began with a miss at European Tour School in 1976. I shot like four under the back nine, and I had a 10-footer on the last hole, and I knew it was sort of close. And I had this putt that sort of uh, was a pretty easy putt, really, uphill right to left, and I, wouldn't you know it, I left it short. Lo and behold, I missed my card by a shot, you know, playing Europe. And it sort of struck me then, well, maybe this is a sign. And uh, I always say that was the best putt I ever missed. David became a PGA teaching professional. That's really good. And soon found success coaching an old friend from his junior golf days in Zimbabwe. He put a bladed wedge on it, same as a putt. Touched it. Wonderful, yes. wonderful touch. Back in 1982, it was when Nick Price, he came and worked with me for six months, basically, he stayed with me. He said, look, we've got to get this right. I want to, you know, I want to stay over here, play over here. You know, I, I felt a success immediately after working with him because I nearly won the British Open uh, three and a half months after I started working with him. And uh, uh, it, it was great. And then, you know, a year and a half later, I won the World Series, which was you know, at, at the ripe old age of 26. I sort of got known for working with good players and uh, that, that's really how it started. All the success that other Zimbabweans had, um, you know, it kind of pales in comparison to what he did for some players. Obviously Nick Feldo being the big one, you know, that he, he really transformed Feldo's game. I think Dave and I worked just great together. I mean, we had that time when I went, started work with him in, in the middle of uh, 1985, the rebuild took a couple of years. He was a perfect student because he was just bound and determined as I was. So it was almost as if we had two heads, you know, working towards the same goal. Once I got my trust with it, um, you know, we went on a great run. He got it. Nick Faldo has won the Masters. In all, David Ledbetter's students have won 24 major championships, and he's seen seven of his pupils ascend to the top of the world golf rankings. He's got a great eye for the golf swing, and he's got a great touch to, to convey his feelings uh, of what he sees to, towards your golf swing. I think it's very unusual to find a, an instructor that is sensitive to the fingerprint of a golf swing. So marrying that fingerprint the individuality of the person, the, the athleticism of that person, to the technical, analytical side of it, there are very, very few instructors that can do that. It's very important with the irons to get the lie right. You can get away with It's more than just about the golf swing. It's more than just about mechanics. It's about uh, actually being a coach, uh, somebody that cares about you, somebody that will look out for you, somebody that wants the best interested in you, and he's got all the qualities that I could name on. A champion, but a major champion. Danielle Kang wins the KPMG Women's PGA Championship. One of David's longest student teacher relationships is with LPGA star and 2014 U.S. Women's Open champion Michelle Wade. Oh, that was green. So, set up the same way. He's definitely like my second dad to me. You know, he's been teaching me since I was 13, 14, and Definitely has a lot of influence on my life on the golf course as well as off the golf course. He's been such a great role model and just someone that I can always get advice off of. And someone just is always there for me. <laughs> David's passion and commitment to the game of golf and PGA professionals is boundless. He's spoken at several PGA teaching and coaching summits. And I think as teachers, uh, first and foremost thing that we have to do is really enjoy what we do. And I really, I really love teaching. And he employs numerous teaching professionals in his more than 30 Ledbetter Golf Academies around the world. We who dare to teach must never cease to learn. So I'm continually learning. And that's, that's the fascinating part of this game. You never stop learning. So you see your posture there? Pretty impressive to see that footprint in terms of his brand, like-minded instructors, 
you know, that we have worldwide uh, just speaks to, you know, the, if you will, the impression that he's had on the industry. Because remember, this is where your power is, yeah, guess that. And certainly on all of us as a staff members. He has gone all over the world teaching, influencing golf professionals, players at every level. Uh, he is truly worldwide. He's always everywhere. He's always on the phone, he's always traveling, uh, just trying to spread his message, his passion, whether it's via golf or just helping people in life. Since I came out of college, I didn't really know what to do as a pro. Um, and David was there for me. He was you know, like a father figure. He, he set me up here in Orlando, that's, that's why I'm here. Um, he's, he's, been, he's been there for me ever since, so, so very lucky. Good, that's really good, Ben. There are the clothing deals and sponsorships, the numerous articles, best-selling books, and DVDs. But it's the respect David Ledbetter has earned from his peers that is perhaps his most lasting legacy. David, when he works with a student, he's totally committed to them. And he does everything in his power to make him the best player possible. He has the magic touch. Everybody he works with turns into a superstar. If you look at the body of work that he's done his whole career, uh, the way he's dedicated himself to teaching, and the, the quality of work that he's achieved with what he's done. I admire David a lot. I read a lot about what he says. I've learned a lot in my lifetime from David Ledbetter, and he definitely deserves this award. My true love is really being out there, sort of, okay, let me see if I can help this person. Body has to work. You want to hit the ball? You want to get power? You want to use your body. It's been a wonderful ride. I wouldn't change it for the world. I mean, and I, I just, you know, I'm in my mid-60s now, and I still feel like I'm 25 as far as my passion is concerned, as far as the game is concerned.